Joining us right now are several members of the band Sawa. In just a moment, I'll have them introduce themselves to us. I thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Hey, thank you too. Thank you too. Uh, this is Maki, bass player, uh, the band of Sawa. Hi, this is Sawa from the band Sawa, and I sing. And, and hi, <laughs> hi, yeah, that's his me, Takeharu from the band Sawa, and, and he play guitar, and he also yeah, and writes songs. Mysterious guy. <laughs> yeah, the mysterious guy. <laughs> he rarely speaks. Yeah. <laughs> that high was very precious sound. <laughs> Record it. <laughs> <laughs> A short while ago, you composed slash created songs for the Nintendo DS game, The World Ends With You. How did this opportunity come about? And what impact has it had for you and your career? Um, actually, I didn't compose songs for this game soundtrack. It was Takeharu, our guitarist, who did it. Um, because I was looking for a member while this game songs project was going on, and I met him while during that period. Well, uh, the impact of this soundtrack was really big for me because until I participated this project, Nobody knew me as a singer, Sawa, but after the release of this game soundtrack, not only Japan, but everyone from world, all over the world have got to know my name and my voice, and it was really great, and I'm very thankful about this chance. How and when did the band form? And does the name Sawa have a particular meaning for the band? That is, aside from the fact that your leader's name is Sawa, does the word also have a specific meaning that has special significance for you? Perhaps providing some special inspiration? Actually, the band was formed, uh, was it 2006? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, last uh, year? No. The 2006 was not the, the beginning of the band, but, oh, yeah. but the unit with me and Takeharu started. And we start writing songs together since then. But because there were too many rock, rock sounds and we really wanted to perform our so songs in front of people and live concerts and shows, so we start looking for our band members. Yeah. And me and Maki, we and Maki met at the end of last year? Uh, yeah. Was it awesome. September or October? Uh, yeah, I yeah. Think so. around then. And we start working together and that was the beginning of the band, I think. Um, and the band name was at the beginning. I was doing a solo yeah. as a singer Sawa, and then I met Takeharu, and we become unit, and we still had a name Sawa together. And when Maki joined our members as a band, as a band, yeah, yeah. Uh. we still <laughs> use the name, <laughs> same name Sawa. <laughs> but it's good name. I like this name. The Thank sound you. Of <laughs> <laughs> So we just like the sound of the name, and there's not much special meanings for this name, mm. but we want to make the meaning for this name together. Yeah. Yeah, with all band members and fans and everyone we meet in our future. Very nice. Let us take a look back for a moment. Would you mind sharing with us what it was like growing up in Japan? Where did you grow up? Was it in a small town or a larger town? Uh, this is Maki. Uh, I'm from Tokyo, uh, west side of Tokyo. Uh, that's very small town. Uh, no, no tall buildings or a big company. Just uh, many houses. Uh, there's a river uh, near my house. Uh, that was very nice place. My parents stayed there, and I visit. Uh, often. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so she's originally from Tokyo. <laughs> she's the only one, maybe. Because <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, I'm from the city called Nagoya. That's a place where maybe you guys all know about the Toyota, the car company. That company locates very close from my house. I mean, the city where I live. Mm. It's It locates around about the middle of Japan. Mm. And the Hizumi, Takeharu, is from originally from the prefecture called Miyazaki, mm. right? Yeah, he's nodding. <laughs> <laughs> and that's 
The Miyazaki Prefecture locates at, on the southeast island of Japan. I noticed on your MySpace page you commented on the recent earthquake in Italy and its tragic impact and the association that it brought up in your mind with experiencing earthquakes while growing up in Japan. What was that like for you? How did experiencing these earthquakes affect your life? When I heard the news of this big tragedy in Italy, I suddenly remember about my experience of earthquake. And the biggest one was when I was elementary school student. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was it like magnitude 7 point something? Uh, I think so. Or 8? I, I don't really remember the number, but <laughs> it was really a tragic one in Japan also. And it's already almost more than 10 years ago. Oh, uh, yeah. A long time ago. Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. But still, there are many people trying to recover from that tragedy in yeah. Osaka so, area. Trauma? Yeah, the trauma. They're yeah. fighting with their trauma. Because there are lots of earthquake in Japan. We annually having a drill of for an emergency drill in elementary school and junior high and everywhere. But still when earthquake happens it brought it brings us a lot of hard time and <laughs> yeah, um, uh, we feel uh, more more uh, sympathy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we really understand how it feels. Yeah, mm. uh, it's a difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also noticed that your experience with earthquakes in Japan has left you with awareness and appreciation for the strength of the human spirit to rise to meet such tragedies and the hope that such rising up provides. Would you care to comment further on this? When some tragedy happens and there, then there will be whatever news or media is going to focus on what really happens on that particular place and they're going to transmit that information to all of the world very promptly these days. But when you just watch news or just listen to radio or I don't know by seeing the internet news site we are apt to focus on how tragic that tragedy was but I really want to enforce that we should not forget how people are supporting each other even in the disastrous situation and um, they're all trying to rise up and recover from that sadness and the broken house and broken heart and you know what I mean? <laughs> it's hard to tell. I'm sorry, my English is not that good. <laughs> no, I think you're doing very well. But yeah, I, I don't want to miss spot um I wish the people hearing this can understand what I'm trying to say here with my poor English. <laughs> I think we understood you perfectly. Mm -hmm. <laughs>